Hello everyone, we are from Bachelor of Landscape on Teacher Batch 17. Today we are going through the proposal for landscape development of the Mahavadi Intermediate Zone by approaching rectification and mitigation for a major design project in 2020. River Mahavali is the longest river of Sri Lanka with a drainage basin of one fifth of the total area of the country. In the bottom of the slide, you can see a section which we produce along the river. Starting from Horton Plains, it is an undisturbing greenery area which is rich in biodiversity. But from Kotmale, there were some main developments took place in the river as Kotmale, Polgolo, Victoria, Randanila, Rantanila, and Minipe. So it made many changes for the biophysical characteristics of the river while providing benefits in irrigation, agriculture, electricity, and economic development. Not only the benefits, a huge impact has happened, and these pictures in the slide shows those impacts. So this is the Mahavali development timeline, which was initiated in 1961 to provide basic information on the land of Mahavali River Basin and the dry zone areas of the northern central province to provide an overall water management plan while considering the water for irrigation and power generation and to provide technical plans for the project. In 1977, it was converted into accelerated Mahari development program and you can see the other developments in, in the slide. So with all these developments, Mahari Intermediate Zone was highly affected and that was the challenge we were given in our MDP. So let's see how we achieved these challenges as a batch by producing a strategic master proposal to rebuild the affected area. So in the phase one, we were divided into four groups. And with the outcome of the group study, we prepared the strategic master proposal for the Mahavari Intermediate Zone. With the outcome of that, our batch students developed 30 projects in the phase two of our major design project. So here are the knowledge resources which we use to gather information. From here, Dishan will explain about the study method. Thank you, Sandini. This is the methodology how we manipulated about major design project, dance studio sessions, workshops, group presentation, conferences, and individual trades. We selected our study area, including intermediate zone and Mahavali basin. We selected Mahavali intermediate zone by using evolution of each group analysis. Those groups are history and evolution, environment and and legislation, social and economic. This uh, this layout showcase our uh, three-day site visit at the day one, our journey flowing from Giniga Thena to Girandru Kote under our selected boundary. At the day two, we went to Girandru Kote to Tandakabuda, all investigating our project hotspot that we identified in the literature review. At the final day, we went to Girandru Kote to Randanigra Dam. We had opportunity to ex experience the life of Girandru Kote satellites some uh, photographs of data collection methods like observing and sketching. This further methods of discussions and uh, workshops. After the site visit, we phase to start studio works and with analyzing our collected data. Hansani will elaborate for each four group findings. Uh, so thank you, Dilshan. Uh, so in our first group, uh, we studied about the history and evolution. So with our findings, we come, came up to a vision, the retracing life, retracting the essence of economy, religion, nature, administration, and link between other kingdoms and resurfacing the prosperity of the state of Lankapura. So uh, with that uh, vision, we uh, identified the four opportunities like plant arboretum opportunity, conceptual development opportunity, uh, geomorphological and rock fossil museum for the mini pay, and also uh, theor theoretical restoration opportunity. Uh, we, with this, uh, we had we was in the three goals to restore historically important areas, to regain the liveliness of the state of Lankapura, and to amplify the attention towards the LMC area. So our next group studied about the environment and energy. So uh, with our findings, we came, um, came up to a vision, communalist in nature, which means the use in the sense of environment to preserving it to improve the economic status of Mahali zone. So there we identified four opportunities, wildlife conservation opportunity, catchment rehabilitation opportunity, scrutinizing opportunity, forest restoration and conservation opportunity uh, for the Mahali zone. Uh, in there, we had three goals acquiring protecting and managing natural spaces while achieving economical benefits to strengthen the inherent biological connection to uplift the quality of life. So uh, our next group studied about 
the social and economical uh, condition of the Mahavali zone. So in there, we had uh, come up with a vision of revitalizing the life of Mahavali intermediate zone. So uh, with that, uh, we uh, identified four opportunities like uh, city perception for the Mahiangani, uh, pro smart agriculture for Minipay, anthropogenic implementations for Dambana, recreational adventure scales for Ulhiti Rathina areas. So there we had goals to uplift the life of existing community to convert the Mahavali intermediate region to a tourism zone and to increase the market for local products. So uh, our last group uh, studied about the policies and legislations. So uh, with that findings, we came up to a vision of coherence and policy, economy and community. There uh, we, uh, we had our goals to inaugurate the exposure of new world heritage sites at Mahiangani and Dambana and to increase the active participation of community and also achieve awareness of the government governing systems among the community. There, uh, we identified four opportunities that we can implement for the Mahavali zone, like uh, landscape metamorphosis opportunity for the, uh, and also landscape heritage prominent opportunity, uh, catchment development opportunity, Aboriginal conservation opportunity. So uh, now, uh, uh, Miunadi will uh, explain you about how we came up to the process of uh, strategic master proposal with these uh, four uh, visions we created. Thank you, Hamsani. Now I'm going to describe you about the process of the strategic master proposal of our batch. As we explained you before, using the four groups and their developed visions, we developed three strategies for our proposal. The first strategy is going with the ecological and environmental approach. The second strategy is going with the heritage and historical approach. And the third one is going with the social and economic approach. And also these four groups produce several opportunities by considering them. We developed three landscape development zones. Here they are, landscape development zone one is MMR, Minipe, Moreaya, Rantam is included. Zone two is SSW, Soroboro, Sacred City and Veragandhut is included. And landscape development zone three is GERD, GERD is included with Kirandur Korte, Udhitya Rathkinder and Dambana. Likewise, we have developed nine landscape development opportunities in these three landscape development zones. So uh, these are the detailed strategies. The first strategy is going with the ecological and environmental approach. And uh, it is the ecological characteristics, conservation and improvement. Mahavali Intermediate Zone is rich in ecological aspect, which has rich soil with uh, natural fertilizer, clean air, flowing water and natural steam water as well. But the human encroachments have affected uh, to decrease the value of the eco heritage. So in this map, you can see there are many reservoirs like Ulhidi Rathkinda Rantambe and natural tanks like Sarabara located in our study area. And the river Mahavali is flying in between in this purple color highlighted area, which indicates the Mahavali system C and system E. In this uh, in between area is demarcated with two large ecological patches. One is Madura National Park located in northeast side. And the other one is Victoria Nandanigal Rantambe Sanctuary, VRR Sanctuary located in Southwest side. So, this in between area acts as a haphazardly developed zone due to the human intervention. So, here in this strategy, we have named Mahavali River Basin as an ecological mess because increasing and enhancing the biodiversity and the ecological character of the in between area is very much important to reconnect these two large ecological patches and also to protect the liveliness and to conserve the wildlife habitat. Here in this map, we have highlighted the existing ecological mess in light green color and the proposed ecological corridors in dark green color. Moving on to second strategy. The second strategy is going with the heritage and historical uh, approach. It is uh, emphasizing and conserving heritage. Mahavali Basin is not only an ecological mess, but also a heritage area. In this map, we have highlighted the main historically and culturally valued sites. There, mainly there are five sites. The first one is Damban Anthropological Area, important with the indigenous people. Second one, Sarabara Bava. And the third one is Veragantha area, which is connected to Ravana Chronics. And the fourth one is indigenous irrigation technology uh, located in Minipa, Anikata, and Yodala. Uh, final one is Mahiangane Sacred City, which is uh, very much informed with the Akanaga community's history. Likewise, even though there are many historically, culturally valued areas like this, they are not connected strongly with each other. So the public is ignorant about the heritage area and it is becoming uh, culturally isolated. If we can link all these spaces together, uh, it'll help to uplift the positive attitude and the sense of belonging of the people who are living in this area. And also we can increase the recognition among local and foreign communities. 
while conserving the heritage religious character in our study area. According to our identified potentials, we created the uh, three economical knots in strategy two, uh, three, uh, Moreaya, Mahiangane, and Dinandur Korte, shown as in this map. Uh, and Mahiangane is uh, to be the developed as the main economical hub according to the potentials. These are selected mainly to reduce human circulation by distributing utilities within the development zones. Next slide. In this slide, you see in the three strategies we intended uh, to achieve our vision of enrichment of Mahavali Basin and river quality and life, embark life, uh, to this Mahavali development intermediate zone. In, uh, by using these three strategies, uh, in our three development zones, MMR, SSW, and GERD, we identified some aspects which we can use to develop the zones. In development zone one, MMR, uh, these are the aspects. Um, recreation, education, agriculture, tourism, irrigation, heritage, adventure, and wildlife. In zone two, conservation, education, uh, and riverine uh, imagination, heritage, tourism, and recreation. In uh, final development zone, zone three in GERD, uh, living anthropological heritage, social rectification, wildlife protection, uh, and education, economy, tourism, township development, uh, and retreating, hospitality, agriculture, and the final aspect is outdoor farming and foreign. So uh, likewise, we could develop a strategic master proposal to this Mahavali Intermediate Zone to develop these areas by giving solution for these uh, satellite cities, culturally isolation, and habitat loss. So these are some existing photographs of the selected site area. And thank you for listening to our strategic master proposal and our research survey.